I'm a Tsuba judge and I'm so glad. Praise God. It's so good to be back now. I know for a few weeks we've not um, been, been sending out broadcasts. But that's because we've been dealing with some issues. And then most especially, you know, personally, there are, there are things I was dealing with. I mean, with the Lord, not, not, um, not a problem. Praise God. I was trying to understand a lot of things that um, the Lord was dealing with me about. And I didn't want it to interfere with the message I, I share. Because sometimes the Lord is dealing with you about something. Just It's just so difficult keeping it and not letting it out. And then letting it out will might even bring some kind of confusion because you yourself, you're not done understanding what the Lord is saying. Exciting things, praise God. Exciting things, but then you need to always bring the teachings that God is giving to you to that place of balance with every other thing that He has taught you. Praise God. Now, some of these things I'm going to be sharing with you as we go on, and then certain instructions the Lord has been um, giving to me concerning our nation. I'm going to share these things with you as we go on so you know and know how you can be a part of it. Let me assure you, God loves our nation. And then, of course, He loves you. See, you are what makes the nation great. Because we are here, God's greatness is here. And one of the things the Lord told me, now before we go on, I would not forget um, to lead us to call forth our daily bread, as the Lord instructed us. I see, we've not done this broadcast for, for, for a while, and we have to come back to every instruction. Praise God. Can we call for that daily bread? Join me right now and say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. It is coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Now, every time we make this demand, expect a miracle. I do expect a miracle every time I do it. So I'm not just leading you to do it. I'm also declaring and making demand for myself. Praise God. So if I'm expecting a miracle today, you should expect a miracle today. So at the end of the day, we are going to have testimonies. Praise God. Now, first, you know, let me remind you, several years ago, the Lord spoke to me. And I'm telling you this because that's what the Lord just told me a few days ago and say, you've got to go back and, and do the broadcast. Several years ago, I really wanted to listen to this. It will help you. The Lord spoke to me. I, I remember that day I was going through um, some stuff on Facebook. And then the Lord spoke to me and said, do you know I'm going to hold you accountable for the life of everyone who's connected to you? And I was like, how? He said, I'll hold you accountable for them. And now when God tells you something like that, I was going through Facebook, so the first thing that came to me was everybody that is connected to me on Facebook. They're going to hold me accountable. Some of them, I don't even know them. Praise <laughs> God. And so I was talking to them. I said, I, I don't know everybody on my Facebook. You know, sometimes people just... You know, they, they, they see your post and then they just add you as friends. And then you get to that point, just adding everybody and adding everybody. I remember I my first response was, look, if God's going to hold me accountable for everybody, I better start looking at everybody that I'm connected to. If I don't really know you, maybe, look, it's time to just um, shift. And then the Lord spoke to me. I see that's, that's the mistake we make sometimes. God is speaking to you about something. You don't wait for him to finish. You jump into conclusion and then you make mistakes. And then the Lord spoke to me and said, listen, if you stay with me, I'm going to be giving you words to speak for every day. 
And when you speak that word for every day, I'll use it as a point of contact to give life to everybody that is connected to you. I said, oh, I see. So the problem was not having many friends. The problem was being in the place with God to give life to as many people as you are connected with. Now that's how this daily broadcast began. We started first as text, as always sending uh, messages. And then later the Lord took us up to start doing, um, I think, audios first. Then we started doing videos. Now the whole purpose of this broadcast is to minister life. Now, so when I sit here, I've got to receive from heaven what the Lord is telling me to share with you. That's why I don't joke with any instruction. Praise God. So as you receive these words, this is what's going to happen to you. It's, it's our covenant. It's my covenant with God. And also because you are in my network, it's also my covenant with you for life. So as this broadcast is coming to you today, I know one thing that's not going to happen to you. You will not die today. Praise God. Yeah. And then to join that, the Lord commanded me to pray in a certain way every day. See? Now that's what it means to walk with the Lord. He gives you instructions. So sometimes people don't know how things are kind of going on around you and how you're just seemingly, seemingly, effortlessly, you know, doing the things that you're doing. It's because of the instructions that the Lord has given. So as long as you keep your mind on those instructions and do them, then the Lord who is faithful, because before he gave you those instructions, he knew what he was looking at. So he sees everybody. He knows what it will take to give everybody life. Then he comes to you and begins to tell you, hey, this is what I want you to do. And as long as you do it, lives are spared. Lives are changed. Praise God. That's the truth. So I know in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will live, you will not die. Listen to me. Whatever is threatening people's lives, especially in this season, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, those things will not find you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare the mistake of others will not become your tragedy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare the Lord will see to it that you will always be late for a tragedy. He said, you shall not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day. You will not be afraid of it. You will not be afraid of any pestilence that walketh at noonday. You will not be afraid of any destruction that is taking place. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord will watch over you and keep you by himself. I pray the Lord will rest his mighty hand upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare right now if there's any sickness in your body, it's time to be healed. It's time to be healed. I speak healing to your body right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free from that disease. Be free from that sickness. Be free from everything that causes you pain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Someone, you've got this pain under your, your one of your foot. There's this pain under your foot. I mean, it's, it, it affects your walking. Right now, God's healing is resting upon you. I command that pain and the root of it to go right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every disease that is troubling you comes to an end today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Be free from every oppression. I see someone, even while you're listening to me, it's just coming to your mind that my problem is oppression. Now, whatever that thing is that you call oppression, I command it to cease right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free from it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be free from it. 
In Jesus' mighty name I pray. My great headache leaves you now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My great headache leaves you now. I, I, I see someone, it's actually, you always have this uh, migraine on this right side of your head and somehow you feel it's affecting your right eye. It's affecting your right eye. I speak healing to your body right now. Whatever the cause of that is, be healed of it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever is, is, is affecting your um, central nervous system, whatever is affecting it right now, I, 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 I speak healing to you right now. The hand of the Lord is coming upon somewhere around your back. You, you're going to feel something moving there. It's God's hand that is resting upon you. And it's bringing healing to you right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. And Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Someone, you have a problem with your gum. Oh, this is, this is just beautiful. Praise God. So you have this ache. You've been struggling with it for a while now. Be healed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be healed. Be healed healed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so God is blessing you also with favor. God is blessing with favor at your job. God is blessing with favor at, at your business. Whatever you are involved with, whatever honest thing you are doing, and in your mind, you're trying to make ends meet. I pray over you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive grace. Receive favor in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray the Spirit of God from where you are is bringing you to the place of truth, where you will begin to understand His will and His purpose for your life. Because I see, I see God lifting someone from a, 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 a circle. I, I see like you are you are trapped in, in, in a circle. And You've not been able to go out from that place. Because I see like a circle being drawn. The circle was drawn and you're just trapped within that place. And so you just keep moving around. I command that yoke broken over your life right now. You are coming out of that place now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I hear the Lord say, you know, in the scriptures, the snare is broken and we are escape. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That snare is broken over your life. That thing that I've kept you in that spot is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, now suddenly they are going to call you for a promotion. Yes, they are going to call you for a promotion. Now that's how you know that the snare is broken and all that, that thing that is that has limited you for a long while now it's completely broken be free come out of that circle in the name of the lord jesus christ and fulfill that which the lord has ordained for your life don't be afraid the lord who loves you and is watching over you is making all things good for you praise god thank you holy spirit Oh, just bless the Lord with me for the mighty things he's done. Today. Now, even if I didn't mention your case, hear me. God is touching your life through this broadcast. He is touching you. He's touching you. So when you just say, Lord, I, I connect, I connect with these prayers and, and I receive, if it's healing you want, I receive healing also. Because when, when God is doing something to one person, he's doing to every other person. Most times, we just don't receive. But that's not going to be your case. You are receiving that which you desire in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, 
bless you because my time is up for today. Praise God. God bless you and keep you. Let the Lord make his face to shine upon you today and bring you great peace. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't miss this broadcast. And I'll encourage you also, help me share to all your contacts on, on, on any social media platform. Just, just share this broadcast and be a blessing to someone else. God bless you. Bye-bye.